In today's video, I'm going to show you how to generate a scannable barcode here in Google Sheets. So I actually have three examples right here, and I'm going to show you how to do it. Let's start with the first one. We have the serial numbers on the left, and next to them would be the barcode. For the first one, I've created this by just changing the serial number into a different font style. As you see here in the formula bar, it's still the same serial number. But if you check out the font style, it will be in a font called Libre Barcode 39. So that's what that barcode is. If we try and do the same thing with the next one right here, I'm just going to copy the serial number, then change the font style into the same font style as our example. If I click on this one, there's our barcode. I'm just going to resize it so we can see it. And there you have it. Now you can do the same thing with these ones as well. Let's just copy them, select those cells and go back to the font style and select the same one. There we have it, format it in the same size. And there you go. So that's our first set of example. Let's go to the next one. So for these two examples, I've actually used a website called generator.onbarcode.com. So you can just type that in your address bar and you'll be led to this page right here where at the bottom you can choose what kind of barcode you want to generate. For these examples, we're going to be using code 39 and code 93. So we'll start with code 39. Once you click on that, you'll be led to this page right here and it will give you a note saying that the barcode generator is locked and you cannot change barcode settings. You can unlock it by entering a key code found in the description of this video right here. If you open it in another tab, that code will be found here in the description. All you have to do is copy it, go back to that page and enter it where it will be asking for the key code and then you can start using the barcode generator. So we're going to start with code 39 right here. And you'll see the barcode is already generated right here. All you have to do now is to enter your encoding data. This is where you're going to be entering your serial number. Once you're done, if you generate the barcode, again, it will show you this image, which we will be opening in another tab. So right click on that, open image in new tab. Once you've opened it, here it is. And here in the address bar, so here in the address bar is what we're going to copy to be able to use this image. Let's just select all, then copy, then go back to our spreadsheet. What we're going to do is to start a formula for our image because this is an image we're importing. So start with the equal sign, type in your image function, and then in quotations, paste in your URL. So open quotation marks, paste, closing quotation marks, and press enter. And there you have our barcode that we have encoded with a serial number of barcode. Now, if you want to put your serial number like so in a first example, what we're going to do is to edit our formula so that we can input our serial number. And that's going to be inside your URL right here where it will say barcode. So this is the first barcode in our formula. If you're going to check it out, there's another one right here and right here. But the one that we're going to be changing is the first one found in your URL. So we're going to delete that. Then put in two quotation marks. In between those quotation marks, we're going to put in our ampersand. 2 ampersand and in between those ampersand we're going to be putting our cell reference for our serial number if we press enter there we have it now it doesn't say barcode anymore it's going to say your serial number which is found on this cell reference right here now if we drag this formula down there we have it now we have generated those barcodes with those serial numbers that are found on the left side so that's for our second example and for our final example as i mentioned for this one we use the code 39 for this one we're going to be using code 93. so let's go back to our barcode generator 
This time we are using code 93. And again, you'll just have to enter the same key code to make it valid and for you to be able to generate your barcode. So for this one, I've already entered my serial number, which is a barcode right here. And in my barcode, you'll see that we have two random characters at the end of my serial number. So if I change the serial number into a new barcode, instead of those asterisks at the beginning and at the end of our serial numbers, we have two random characters that will be added into our serial number. So again, let's open this in a new tab. And in the address bar, we're going to be copying our URL. Go back to your spreadsheet. Now we're going to do the same thing and use the image function to put in our barcode. So start with your equal sign. Type in image. In quotations. Paste in your URL, closing quotations, and press enter. And there we have our new barcode with those two additional characters at the end. Now again, we're going to do the same thing that we did right here. We're going to change this part of our URL to be able to incorporate our new serial number. So let's go ahead and do that. Here we have a new barcode, the first new barcode in our URL. Change that with double quotation marks. In between those quotation marks, we're going to put in our ampersand, two ampersands, and in between is our cell reference. If we press enter, there we have it. So for this one, the two characters are a space and the capital letter F. And if we drag this down, let's see if it still works with our serial numbers, even though they're not names. There you have it, they still work. So instead, again, of those asterisks at the beginning and at the end of our serial numbers, it just added two random characters at the end of our serial numbers. And there you have it. So those were three ways to generate a scannable barcode here in Google Sheets. If you want to print these barcodes, you can do so. Just make sure that they have enough spacing in between so that they don't overlap on each other. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, do leave a like and subscribe for more helpful videos. See you on the next one.